Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll be designing a top handle for the ZV-1 and a battery enclosure. We'll be doing those in Fusion 360 and then printing them out on the Prusa. Okay, here we are in Fusion 360. I have not used this since the nerfed update. So the first thing I usually do is I gotta bring in some reference or proxy. I might be able to find an STL online. ZV-1. All right, looks like I'm not gonna find anything, so I'm just gonna have to measure it and box it out. Create box. I will be attaching it uh, with this base plate. Then the camera will sit on the base plate. The big lines are 10. All right, there's the base plate. Now I can see where the front is. All right, it's battery time. I wonder, if, I wonder if I can just go all the way. Let's see. Hmm. 11? Close enough. All right, so there's my battery. Ooh, so how thick do I want the enclosure walls? I guess I'll go 10 all around. All right, so what do you do when you want to see through here? Yeah, so I want the edges. I'd like it. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. I want the enclosure's left side to be open. So I'm going to drag this in and come right to the edge of there. This is also where the battery will slide into this enclosure. Now Fusion used to have a thing where it could kind of like find the edge and then help you. Ooh, there it is. All right. Hold the shift key down. Come on. I want that corner. There it is. Shift key. That's what I want. Oh my goodness. Oh, did I just delete the battery? Where's the battery? Let's get the battery out of there. Which one? There it is. 45 degree chamfers, everything. 3D printers really like 45 degrees. I need a way to get this battery out of here once it's inserted. So what I'm going to do is on this side, I'm going to cut a hole. So the mounting on the bottom is easy. It's just this bottom plate. It's uh, this plate right here. So there's our through hole and a screw will come up through the bottom and screw into this base plate. That looks acceptable. I think now is a good time to test this part. I will copy it. I'm gonna move it over. And now I'm gonna cut it. Cut. Can I do two sides? All right. Okay, let's see if this menu item is still up here. 3D print. There you are. Okay. It wants to save a STL. Closure test. All right, now I'm gonna fire up Prusa Slicer. It's been a while, so it's probably going to want some kind of update. Configuration update is available. Would you like to install it? Sure. I guess it's installed. It's so hard to tell. I wish it would like say something after that. Enclosure tests. This is the bottom. Draft. We'll stick with 20% infill. Uh, we don't need any supports. And I'm going to slice. One hour and 22 minutes. All right. Let's export G-code. And I'll save that. New firmware version available, 3.9.1. Please upgrade. Are you not going to print because of this? Okay, I guess it's going to print. It's heating the bed. There's actually magnets that hold this, this on. And one of the things I was doing with this printer back in the day was it, it kind of like does this and sometimes it like pinches your finger. I was like doing this and then I'd drop it like that. But I learned soon that you shouldn't do that. It knocked two or three of the magnets on the front end just completely off. Okay, we'll let this go for an hour and come back later. While we're waiting for the part to print, we can get started on the handle. Right there, center to center. There's two. All right, now for the for the handle part. 30. 
Okay, 30 by 30, uh, 80. That's a nice coincidence. And it'd be nice if it stuck forward a little bit, a little like trigger grip. Maybe 20. That looks pretty well, pretty well balanced. How's our print doing? That's the camera out in the garage. All right, let's clean, clean this thing up a little and add some supports. Ooh, look at that, it can, it, it finds that intersection if you're in this uh, three quarter view. I like that. That's very, very handy. There it is. <laughs> Come up, 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 up. That looks pretty good. Negative push, enter. What do you think, ugly? Don't need to go that far. I think that looks pretty good. Kinda like that boxy look, that... Don't think I like how that looks. Eight? How's eight look? Six looks pretty good. This is one of those feeling things. So these are our through holes. Cut. Cut. I wonder if I should have saved those. It needs a little chamfer up in here. Did I double click that? No, that doesn't work. I'm acting like I'm in Blender. It's not like other 3D apps. This is not an edge loop. Okay, I got that. That's probably a faster way to select this. One. Two, how's that look from the side? Ooh, that's that's too much. Three? Three's the magic art number. We should put some like holes in here to make it look cool. Ugh, math. Let's move it. Just rough it in, right? Okay, let's make this bigger. So this is basically 10. Camera top handle rig. So we're kind of mimicking this business. Those are really close together. These are a little further apart. These are kind of like what I got going. It's just like a cosmetic thing at this point. What the heck is up with this guy? He woke up one day and was like, I need to be taking pictures with my mouth. That's nice. Oh yeah, look at that. Looks like a muzzle. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that. We're gonna stop here. Okay, let's check the 3D print. Oh, it's done. Okay, I've got the test part printed. The first thing we'll test is the through hole for this screw. And on this side, we have the taper for this tapered screw head. So I'm gonna put that in there to test it out. So there it is, the, the screw head fits flush. It's actually a little lower just in case. So a nice fit there. And now we'll see how this battery fits. It's perfect. Just the right amount of tightness. I can just grab two fingers, pull it out like that. And if I hold it like this, it doesn't slide out. We're ready to print the final part on this. All right guys, here's the enclosure. And I've added some feet on the bottom so that when the plate is on here, it has a little more support so that it's not tipping over. I almost forgot. So you'll notice I also cut out this slot because this battery has a button to basically activate it and so that you can see the LED lights for how much of a charge it has. So the fit is pretty good. It's nice and snug and I can pull it out with two fingers. Also I can push this button. Let's put the mounting plate on. All right and here's that 
through hole on the other side so that I can get the wrench in there. Get it lined up. So on the bottom, we just need to tap this. Now I do want a, a snug fit so I don't want to go too crazy with this tap. And you'll notice that I've left a good amount of thickness here because I wasn't sure if the extension of this screw would be enough to hold the plate on. Um, I think it'll be alright. If it's not, I'm going to have to replace this screw with a longer one so it has more to grab onto. That is surprisingly secure. Okay. You might be wondering uh, why I only have two feet on the bottom and not on the other side. This needs to mount onto the mounting plate. And so when it's on this plate, I need to quick release it. And having feet would get in the way of my fingers down here. This extends far enough this way to give it enough support. And this really is so that it doesn't tip this way. Here's the handle, hot off the press. So I can tell you already, it feels pretty thick. Like this is pretty big. Um, we'll get it on the camera to see how it looks. Get these supports off. All right, so these mounting screws are a bit too long. Just a little bit. It's a little tricky getting my fingers in there. Alright, so this handle is fully functional, works great, but visually it seems out of proportion to me and the artist in me won't leave it alone. Now this doesn't need to be perfect. That looks pretty good. We're just roughing it out just to see what looks decent. Alright, so I just checked Fusion 360. So this little guy right here to here, that's three millimeters. Roughly three mil. It's not going to be perfect, but roughly. Yeah, three mil. So that's what it looks like here too from the side view. Alright, on your right, is the old one and on your left is the new one. You can see the size difference, quite a difference. So feeling wise, this definitely feels better. I feel like I can, this feels like too much. I can't explain it. it, just something about it doesn't feel right. This absolutely feels right. Ooh, that's nice. 